There are many who would say the Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagbin, will not stop to amuse them with his dress code in Parliament. In the evening of August 3, the Speaker walked into the chamber to give his closing remarks before the House went on recess. The Speaker obviously had a reason for the dress code. You see that I am adorned in a different costume. This is what I was doing for and on your behalf. This is an award that has been bestowed on the house by all the Muslims in Ghana. This one is meant to appreciate what you've been doing in the house. They wished it could be put on all the heads, 275 of you in the house. But unfortunately, it's not possible. And so they decided to put it on the head of the head. This adornment is referred to as Saifula. The full meaning is the sword of God. Alban Bagbin, since assuming office as Speaker of Parliament, has abandoned the parliamentary gown for traditional attire and regalia. The cloak and gown, according to the Speaker, are only for ceremonial occasions. So on the day of the State of the Nation address by the President, the Speaker adorned the robe. Speakers of Parliament in the past wore the long garment, headgear and bib, which constituted the ceremonial dress of the Speaker. It is one to distinguish the speaker from members and to reflect the pomp and pageantry of special national occasions. But Speaker Bagbin explains that a dress code is colonial. The gown is a costume of the crown of UK. Why should we take that one and adopt it for our speaker? Even they have discarded it. They don't wear it any longer. That is for ceremonial occasions they just use. Okay, so I decided to introduce our traditional and I wear these things plus all the others. It's just the church one I'm still looking for uh, to wear and come one day you see me in either the Catholic or the Apostolic or the Disciple. Well, like it or not, that is the path the Speaker of the Eighth Parliament has chosen. Not only does he encourage the wearing of made in Ghana clothing, but also deliberately marketing the Ghanaian culture. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Accra.